Hello, hello everybody. Hey, how you doing? It's Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you're okay. What a day. What a day. It has been like brainstorm explosion day today. Um, I have got six videos created. I told you, right? Raheem's not here today. Back on track. Back on track. But not just that. Someone uh, from the Web Squadron Facebook group had a bit of an issue with sticky columns. And I have to say, that issue kind of dumbfounded me as well. I was like, what do we do here? What do we do? And I literally spent, believe it or not, three hours. Why did I spend three hours of my time? Because it really bothered me. And it was to do with overlapping. When you have multiple over uh, sticky columns you sometimes get a bit of an overlap kicking in, which is really, really annoying. And I found a way to get around it. No CSS code, just a bit of margin and padding, a bit of crafty, clever thinking. And I've just recorded that video literally about half an hour ago. Quickly recorded it, 10 minute video, quickly edited it, and I'm uploading right now. So um, if you notice that there's a drop in quality with the buffering speed, please just bear with me because it will it will kick back in again in a moment. Hey, Artif. Hey, Ag uh, Akram. Hey, Greg. Hey, Gary. Hey, Sinan. Be informatica. And of course, we've got Gene here as well. So Raheem's not here today. He's gone to the seaside with my wife. Um, he wanted me to come along as well. But I was kind of like, I've got work to do and stuff. But I tell you what, productivity levels today, six videos, one of them coming out literally like any minute now and five more that I wanted to get done. When you have not done any proper video production stuff except for the rank math. In fact, I did the rank math and the elemental 3.14 beta. So that means I knocked out eight videos this week. Yes. No, it's nice to kind of get things done, you know what I mean? Um, ah, Sinan, yeah, now we can see your other identity over there as well. Hey, Amran, how you doing? Um, if anyone's wondering, I've just changed the background, so have less, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, um, videos playing in the background, because I think some people said they found that quite distracting. Um, but if you did like it, let me know. But I, in fact, I might put the other videos back on again. Because uh, I've got a few different ones on here as well. So I'm just going to quickly change it. How is everyone doing? It is Thursday. I had pizza last night. I had pizza last night and I feel like uh, I feel raw. I, I wish I hadn't had pizza. I don't like to eat carbohydrates, but I had a whole 10 inch pizza to myself, which... You might, you might say 10-inch pizza's nothing. Believe me, a 10-inch pizza is not always a good thing. Hey, Greg, I've just changed it, but what I'm changing it to is um, it's not overly too heavy either. I'm just going to change the brightness down for it. Uh, you just got to bear with me. Oh, I always get the settings wrong for this. Yeah, look, I can't get this. I keep getting the settings wrong. I keep forgetting where I need to go. I'll just make it be uh, darker, like something like that. It always works better when there's not too much light on it. Anyway, um, how are you all doing? Hey, Nikos. Hey, Isotonic. How are you? 10-inch pizza is more than 10 inches of carb. I tell you what, 10-inch pizza is too much, right? You know? So yeah, I've dropped it down now, so hopefully it's not as bright as what it was um, before. Let me just put my brightness down on here as well. How are you all doing? Are you all having a good day? Do you know what? I'm in a buzzing mood, right? I'm in a buzzing mood, mainly because I kind of got round a problem to do with overlapping of um, columns. And you're going to see what I mean when the video comes out in like... Literally in like about 10 minutes, it probably comes out. It's someone in our Facebook group basically told uh, had an issue and I really wanted to sort it out for them. Sinan, yeah, you lost three kilograms on the keto diet. Now you need to lose 20 kilograms. What? You need to lose 20 kilograms. 
are you saying, Sinan? Are you saying that you need to lose um, 20 kilos? <laughs> if I lost 20 kilos, I'd be dead. Um, I do want to lose five more kilos, though. I do want to lose five more, which sounds like a lot, but I want to get back to the weight I was uh, three years ago, roughly. One of the bad habits I have is eating Raheem's leftovers. I still do that. And sometimes, like, when my wife and, you know, Raheem, they're having chips or whatever, I can't help but go and grab a few chips for myself. And I really, 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 really need to stop dipping in. Does anyone else do that? You know, when your kids are having chips and you go, oh, yeah, I'll have a few chips and whatever kind of thing. Greg needs to lose 80. What is 80 pounds? I always get, I'm not good. I'm okay with kilograms and stones. I get the conversion there. It's roughly six kilos per stone, roughly. But what is a pound in relation to a kilo? Can anyone, can anyone just do that conversion? Not what Greg needs to lose, but how many pounds are there to a kilo? Or how many kilos are a pound? Can anyone work that out for me? If, if so, please do let us know. 35 key kilograms. That's a lot, Greg. I mean, I have to... So let me give you, let me give you a story, okay? Um, I, in 2012, I was 74 kilograms, roughly 74-ish, right? Borderline 74, 72, 74. I kept yo-yoing between them two. And then I lost, I went from 74 to 50, um, by just cutting out, you know, cakes, um, choc too many chocolates, full fat Coca Cola, pizza, pastas, rices. I I just I completely like. And the big one was cutting out Coca Cola, the amount of cans of Coke I used to drink. Right, I know I drink Pepsi Max now and whatever, but hey, Eddie, how are you doing? By the way, Eddie, I got your email. Yesterday, Eddie mentioned about ChatGPT and about how there's loads of add-ons. Can I be honest, uh, Eddie, because I haven't replied to your email yet. Of all of the plugins they mentioned, the one about SEO I thought was interesting, but even then, I would say you don't need to use it. I don't think you need to use it. I don't think any of the features that they showed on that YouTube video to justify ChatGPT Plus for me was worth it. I did not come away going, yeah, all right. Not really sure about that. And I I am completely on fire with Sinan over here. The keto diet, low carbs is very similar to the keto diet, okay? The only difference is you consume more fat and you train your body to consume the fat. And the way you train it is just by cutting down on, on your carbs big time. I mean, proper cut down, right? But if you can do a very low carb, you can still eat carbs. Don't get me wrong, okay? You can still treat yourself every now and again. But if you cut down your carbs and you massively increase your protein intake, that's the secret. Keto is more fat and protein, whereas low carb is just more protein, okay? So you can still enjoy your doner kebab and your lamb biryanis and whatever. You can still enjoy stuff, right? You just become more of a carnivore or you eat more like, um, if you're Asian, you eat more muscle dal. You go and eat stuff like that, you know? Um... Greg, pasta used to be my weakness as well. I'll tell you my big weaknesses. They were lamb biryani. Oh, my God, did I love lamb biryani rice. Oh, I loved rice, right? Um, and I loved my pasta. Boy, did I love my cheesy pasta. You know, like with, you know, tomatoey mm, sauce and all of that. Did I love that, right? But now, and this is, and this is what is so cool, right? When I was losing weight, someone saw me and they were like, but you're eating like a doner kebab. But I ate the doner kebab without the bread. I have a triple cheeseburger 
without the burger take the burger bread away i can still enjoy the cheeseburger whatever i'm having right i can still have a quarter pounder i just don't have the bread cob bit you know um so chickens stuff like that you know i can still go nando's i can still have a butterfly chicken i just don't have the mash or i might have the mash but don't go for the chips you know so you can be okay wow Oh, nice one. Michael lost Michael lost eight kilos since January. Well done, my friend. And by the way, I do want to make clear, yeah, there's nothing, um, well, I, I'm not judgmental or anything like that. If you're doing it for um, uh, appearance reasons, health reasons, there can be many, many reasons. My big reason for why I decided to lose weight was in 2012, I was told by the doctor, you are now border, you are on the line with being diabetic. You're showing all the signs, your, 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 your cholesterol, all of this was high, all of this stuff, right? Yeah, you are borderline diabetic. If you don't make a change right now, like literally right now, you are most likely by next week probably going to be on medication for the rest of your life, whatever. And I was like, not happening. Not happening. Yeah. Stop drinking Coke that night. Stopped all this stuff. And I tell you what, within one week of the doctor telling me that, I dropped three kilos in the space of a week. And it sounds shockingly bad. But you know when you consume a lot of carbohydrates? Yeah. You know a lot of what you're carrying is water, right? There's water weight inside of you. Carbohydrates latch on to water, right? So the minute you start losing weight, you are going to be pissing Niagara Falls in the toilet. You are pissing out the water in your system because every night when you go to sleep and you lie down on your bed or whoever you're lying on top of, or whoever's lying on top of you, however it works... You, your body, because you're motionless and you've probably had a really big meal that night, you just, you just, it sucks out the water out of the food and it sucks it into your body. All of that. All right. So, you know, you should be all right. You should be all right. And, and the, the other reason also is that it's like I'm very conscious about my health. I've had a heart attack, for God's sakes, right? I had my gallbladder taken out nine years ago. So I have issues there with my gallbladder gone out. I still have problems sometimes with that. I've got... I, I want to still be here. I want to live to be 100. I don't know. Do I really want to live to be 100? I hope to live to be 100. Can you imagine if we're still here in 56 years' time doing... Welcome to Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. Oxygen. You know, can you imagine that? Can you imagine how fun that was? Um, I'm in a very animated mood, okay, because it's the first time in five, six days where I've really felt productive. And I don't just mean on recording videos, helping people out. I was back in my element again, problem solving. And I love that feeling. Right, I'm just very quickly going to release a video. So just bear with me. I've just got to quickly copy the URL because I want to... It's basically for someone who had a problem in our Facebook group. And I want to let them know that um, this is now done for them. So um, how to sort out um, overlapping of a sticky columns issue. So if anyone saw it, someone called Stephanie posted a message and it was basically how if you have multiple sticky columns, you eventually get a bit of an overlap effect because they're all sticky to the top. Even when you do offset, they start to do all these issues. So I want to say um, this is how you sort it out. And I'm really I'm really chuffed that we eventually got that problem. Well, I want to say we, I kind of sorted it out, but I'm really glad she raised it because I didn't really appreciate that this was a big problem. So uh, there we go. That is now released out. And I hope she is happy with me doing that. Um, yep, here we go. So there we go. Let's just post that problem in there. Not post a problem, post a solution. There we go. 
when you solve a problem and you are able to help someone and make a difference, it feels good. Does anyone else get like that or is it just me? You know, when you know you've got to, you have found a way without any JavaScript, without any plugin, without any CSS coding, you have just found a way to just flip the switch and turn a problem into a solution. Doesn't it make you feel... Here's what I've found. Doesn't it make you feel good? Uh, Eddie's dad had diabetes. Uh, you go now every six months to check my values. They are very good. No danger of getting diabetes, but it can still happen. Exactly. You know, and you, you just have to be a bit conscious. Oh, Greg, I'm sorry to hear that. You, uh, you're 57 years old, uh, you've, but you feel like you're kind of 70 in a way. Look, mate, stick, stick it out. All right, stick it out. Hey, Irishman. Um... Sinan learned Spline 3D. Wow, that is interesting. I don't think, I, I, I'm i not saying you've got loads of free time. I haven't got the time to learn that, but that's a great skill to have, you know. I'm sure you're going to be able to do some really funky stuff with that. Um, nice one, Greg. Hey, look, Greg, you know, I look forward to seeing when your channel is up and running. And, and that's the thing, John, right? I know... I have so many friends that have type 2 and I, I I admire people so much when they're literally having to take their injections. I, I don't, I just couldn't do it. Of course, when you know you've got to do it, you would do it, but I would be afraid to do it and I admire so much. So when that doctor said to me, right, um, you are borderline diabetic, it was literally like, like, really? Another thing? I have got, like, like, right, really? You know? Like, I, I, I'm, 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 I, I thought I was good. I thought I was okay. You know, to be honest, though, I was always aware that I was putting on weight, putting on weight, putting on weight. And so in total, I've dropped 24 kilos, you know, uh, in a quite a quick amount of time. Um, so in 2012, I was 74 kilo by 2014, I was 50 kilo. And then since then I've kind of gone up and down. I've, I went back up to 60 kilo. In fact, uh, just before lockdown and then during lockdown, I went, no, I'm going to get back down. I got back down to 50 and now I'm yo-yoing between 50 and 55 at the moment, I really need to focus because I want to get back to 50 again. Um, hey, Radung, how are you doing? Hey, Pixstar, how are you doing? We're just talking, Pixstar. You know how we are. We, who, sorry, is this meant to be a WordPress, ask me anything, chit chat show? You know, WordPress, psh, who cares? Now we're talking about meat press and creating kebabs. You know, let's stretch those kebabs out. I don't mean like that, but you get my idea. Um, I was about to say something and it's gone now. Yeah, the auto scroll. So I put out a video today. Uh, so we, I've done videos before on auto scrolling where you can have your slide or your carousel moving. A lot of you have seen those. I updated the video because I wanted to show the same code can be applied to an image carousel, testimonial carousel, whatever of the media carousel I think it is, or one of the other ones, slider as well. So you can apply it to any of those carousels, the same code, practically the same settings, just some of them are slightly like the other way around. But you do that, and you can have now an auto-scroll. An auto-scroll looks to me nicer than when you just have slide, 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 slide. You know, when you have it just going like that and it's just moving, it feels to me more high tech. When you have like, even when you have three slides, it goes, 
it it feels old fashioned, like robotic, in it, like stutter, stutter, stutter. Whereas if it's just flowing, I like that. It's like it's like water. It's like an ocean. Yeah, it's like an ocean. Yeah. That is not Uranus, by the way. To some of you, I bet if you put a microscope down there, that would look like your Uranus, but it's not Uranus, okay? Or a black, or I, I don't know. It's not even a black hole. Well, I don't know. It's, um, maybe, I don't know. I don't even know what it is. I'm not even sure what it is anymore now. Um, well, Pixstar, we were talking about the burger burger. You know how I said when I lost weight? So I would get a triple cheeseburger, right? take the burger, uh, the, the bread away, and you have a burger burger, because in effect, a triple cheeseburger is the perfect burger burger, right? Because you've got a burger inside with onions and cheese and sauce, and then outside of it, at the bottom, there's a burger, and then on top of it, there's another burger sandwiching it in, and on top of that one, you've got another layer of cheese. That is the perfect burger burger burger, uh, no, it's not a green screen. It's not a green screen. Look, it's not a green screen. It's a, uh, it's, it's a, look, look, I'll even put the menu up. Look, menu. We have a menu. It's a device. It's a device, but, um, yeah, I can have stuff up there. Yeah, be the water. Be the water, Sinan says. Be the water. Well, I don't know, Pixstar. Depends on what Uranus looks like, innit? You know? Please don't bend over right now. No photos allowed. Um, did Radung ask a question there? I indexed a website about four days ago, but still not indexed. Okay. Um, it should have been done within two days. I mean, if it's been four days, it's definitely submitted, isn't it? So I would say give it until maybe four tomorrow. I mean, I would say four days is quite long, really. It should have done it by now. Um, normally two days. Triple burger patty is just insane. Meat. Oh, mate, the trouble with McDonald's, though, is, you know, their meat, it's like they're quite thin, right? They're quite thin. One quarter pounder is probably the equivalent of three of the burger patties that you get with a triple cheeseburger. Yeah. So, anyway, um, and Sinan asks, yeah, so you did register your search console. Uh, did you check, read? Uh, right. I'm just going to double check because I, uh, ooh, what's this? What is this? Oh, yes, yeah, someone wants a meeting. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about them. Um. So, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? It's gone out of my head now. Sorry, my, my mind has gone a little bit because um, I've just had a few emails and there's, there's the emails are fine. There's nothing wrong with the emails. It's just thrown me a little bit because I wasn't expecting someone to get back to me to say, yet yeah, they want to proceed now. I thought it was a dead deal. They've obviously now decided they want to restart this possible website project, which I'm a bit surprised about because um, I'm not sure I want to work with them, <laughs> to be honest, because I felt like I was arguing with them quite a bit. But anyway, um, Gary says, <laughs> McDonald's is, is it horse meat, though? Mixed with a little rat. Mmm, rat meat sounds tasty. Um I'm not sure they have got horse meat or rats inside, though. I would like to think they aren't horse or rat meat or anything like that at all. Um, so Raheem is on holiday back tomorrow. Well, back tonight. So tomorrow I'm going to just be editing, you know, the videos I recorded today. So if I feel like I'm not being very productive with getting things done by me editing uh, and scheduling out those videos and doing the cover art, I feel like I will have a productive day on my back end. Uh, the Web Squadron Facebook group is growing at a really nice rate. Um, hey, Stacey. Um, um, by the way, I am also going to look into something. I don't want to say anything yet because I'm not entirely sure how it works. 
but where we have the how to start a web design business, um, and I love everyone out there that went and got it, I am going to just look to see, can I do something that makes it more accessible in terms of pricing for people without offering discounts? So I've got to check something out on that later on. Hey, George, how are you doing? Hey, Dave, how are you? Um, just to let you know, for anyone that's joining now, I've just rushed out a video that I just recorded like an hour ago, edited. And it was to help someone out who had a problem with sticky columns in Elemental. Yeah, I mean, Pixstar makes a point. They are probably 50-year-old cows. But you know what, Pixstar, if you think about it, right? Hey, Crystal, how are you doing? If you think about it, um, and by the way, if anyone here is a vegetarian or a vegan, I really apologize for what we're about to talk about. But if we think that some of the cows are 50-year-old cows, they are experienced cows, aren't they? Right? Okay, Shamaji, we are going to be kicking you out. So we are now removing... Bye-bye, Shamaji. Bye. We're going to remove you off now. Shamaji's gone. Oh, Shamaji, we were so looking forward to talking to you, but you're gone. Bye. Um, I mean, even if they are a 50-year-old cow, they are experienced cows. So you're, you are consuming their experience, which probably explains why... Everyone that eats McDonald's, they are very, very clever people. Have you ever really, have you ever noticed that when you go into McDonald's and you see the people sat there eating McDonald's and the food is falling all over the place and they've got ketchup all over their face, deep, deep down, they are the most intelligent people, the biggest problem solvers in the world. And if anyone is going to solve eternal life, it will be them. Oh, I like to think that when I go in just to justify and make myself feel better. I mean, for all I know, what do I know, right? Exactly, George. It's like when you have a kebab, George, right? You know, when you have a kebab and you stick that kebab in your mouth. What do you think you're eating? Hey, what do you think you're eating? I'll tell you what you're eating. You're eating some kebab, right? That's what you're eating. Yeah. So welcome everyone to the food channel. You know, we don't talk about WordPress. That's a load of shit. We talk about... Oh my God. My... I really wish this Apple Watch would stop listening and, and repeating what I say sometimes. It always does it at the most inappropriate... got a bit of a sticky thing going on here at the moment now we've got a bit of a stay go now it's kicked in synced um i think so pixar the einstein cow i think so chewing with your mouth open makes you look so intelligent oh man michael do you know can i tell you something right now yeah me and my wife argue a lot over eating she doesn't think there's a problem I get triggered by noisy eaters, right? And I've said to her, I can clearly tell that she's never worked in an office environment, okay? I can tell you this now, right? And, and I think this is fact. A lot of people that work in an office environment, whether they're in an office or they're eating when they're in a meeting or anything like that, they almost learn to almost eat delicately without munching or crunching or grinding or when they're biting. Well, you know, when they bite, they don't scrape the food against their teeth like, you know, they don't do none of that because they're mindful of themselves and other people in the meeting or the office layout. My wife that works in a hospital, her and her friends know nothing about mindful eating. Crunch, crunch, grind, grind, breathe. <laughs> they know nothing. It's because they've never worked in an office environment. Would you agree with me on that? Next time you meet someone and they've never worked in an office environment and they normally just eat happily at home or when they're with their mates, they are noisy. But 
people, I have, and I, I've noticed this over my life, right? Has anyone ever noticed that? Has anyone ever noticed that? Because you're mindful, like, if you're in a meeting with 20 people, right, and you've got, like, a packet of crisp or a chocolate bar or just a meal or even a pasta tub and, you know, you're allowed to eat while you're in the meeting, you don't often hear, of unless they, like, open a packet or open a bottle, like, psh, right, or they're just putting their hand in to get something, you don't really hear much. They just eat. Whereas people that have not worked in an office environment... You can hear every flipping crunch. It's like... <laughs> Dave's the worst eater. Am I the only one who thinks this? Am I the only one who thinks this? Or have I just opened your minds now and now you're going to observe the next time you see someone eat, you're going to go, yes, you've never worked in an office, damn you. <laughs> I just read what Pixar said that 50% of the food falls off your mouth. Rather than, I tend to have the restaurant. What? Do you want another table? Ugh. Chewing noise bothering you, isn't it? It is. It is. You are right. You are right, Michael. It does bother me. I get triggered by noisy eaters, right? I get so triggered. And George, I, I'm going to stay away from you now. Oh, I'm not. Yeah, gum chewers as well. Ugh. I'm Crystal. He says I am a slow eater, though, um, and I'll tell you the reason I eat slow. I have, uh, you know, this side of my mouth, right? This side of my skin, all here, right? Look, if I start to do that, I can't feel it. I get electrical spasms actually going across my face. They're very, they're not, they're more subtle now. But th this side of my mouth, I have to be careful how I eat. Because uh, I have no, I, I have paralysis in my mouth round here. Um, so I am a slow eater, but even then, I am mindful with my eating. Like, you know, whereas Raheem, Raheem is noisy at eating. I keep saying, Raheem, you got to calm it down. Like my wife, I keep telling her, when you eat, use your tongue to buffer the crunch. You know, when you eat, you can use your tongue. When you're eating to buffer the sound echo that you get in your mouth. You know you can do that. She knows nothing about that. Yes, I'm talking about my wife's eating, John, when I talk about the tongue bit. Oh, Greg, mate, I get this as well. You know what? Sometimes when my wife is eating a packet of crisp... Ten minutes later, she's still eating the same packet, and it's a small packet. And I'm like, how long does it take to eat a packet of crisps? There must only be about 40 pieces in there. Because it's like every single piece, she picks one at a time. Oh, and you know what I really hate? I really hate, I can't show it to you because I don't have an example. When she opens a packet, right... She opens it in a way whereby when you now put your hand in, she has to kind of go <sighs> before she picks one out. And there's nothing worse than when we go to the cinema where I sometimes have to say to her, right, you're not having any popcorn. You know, when you go to the cinema and you've got a tub of popcorn, right? The popcorn is on top. Can you understand this? You've got a tub. The popcorn is on top. You don't need to pop your hand in and rustle it to pick out the popcorn. The popcorn is on top. Just pick what's on top. Take, eat. Take, eat. She's got to put her hand in. Pull them out. It's like we are not picking a toy. You know when you have the claws? You know when you're, you know, like when you go to like pick a, a cuddly toy? drop no you're not picking just pick from the top and eat pick from the top and eat right she can have popcorn and she does have popcorn but i say to her, right the film's about to start please do not stick your hand in and rustle okay because i'll tell you what was the most embarrassing thing right do you remember the movie the lord of the rings the return of the king the third one right we're at the cinema right uh there's me my wife and my wife's sister. There's three of us there, right? My wife is in the middle, right? Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, the third movie, right? 
They've Frodo, you know, they've they, the 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 ring is burnt now, right? The ring, you know, Gollum falling in, the ring is burnt. Frodo and Sam run out the volcano and they're now on the rocks and they're like reminiscing, oh Rosie, and oh, I wish I could go back to the Shire. Oh, Sam, oh you know, they're all reminiscing and they're feeling sad, right? They're feeling really sad. And the music dulls down, you know. The music really dulls down and they're trying to make you think they're going to die. I mean, I've read the books. I know they don't die, but they're trying to make you think they're about to die. The cinema is silent. No one's breathing. People died because they forgot to breathe in that auditorium. No one is breathing. It's, you know, deathly silence. And then my wife. I, I literally had to go like this and grab her left arm and her sister on the other side of my wife grabbed her right arm. Like literally both of us grabbed her arm to say, stop, stop, just stop, stop it. Oh, God damn it. You leprechaun, stop. And she was like, hmm? you know, you have you have a real emotional scene. Right? Our heroes may perish. Silence. But no. We have to hear the popcorn rustle. Sorry, I had to get that out. You know, I don't want to go on to Oprah Winfrey when I talk about my life. I wanted to get that out now. Oh, that's emotional, isn't it? Just talking about that. I could have a whole channel about food, couldn't we? We could do that. Right? Dave, it was just sweet, all right? Don't you dare defend her, Dave. It was not sweet and salty. It was just pure sweet, okay? Right? Uh, Eddie just had a phone call, a new client for tax. What's this, Eddie? You just had a phone call, a new client for tax. What, you're taxing them or they're taxing you, right? You know, um... But yeah... Um, that was, it was, it was, it was quite funny, actually, it was quite funny at the time, because, like, yeah, she doesn't suck off her finger, she doesn't do that, she doesn't, she doesn't do that, but, um, crunchy popcorn, right, you know, um, or, or what, or what I hate is, you know, when you're in a cinema, and someone near you has, like, a drink with a straw, and they're like, And then they pop it back down. And when they pop it into the cup holder, but don't just do this. It's like... They've got to, like, let the whole world know. Yeah, it's secure. It's in the cup holder. Carry on with the film. Yeah, like... Uh, uh, you know? And then you start to imagine, what are they like at home? Well, I tell you what, I know what my wife's like at home. I know that because I live with her. I know what she's like at home. But then you start to wonder, what are they like at home? I just got to check the time, okay? Because I think my wife will be driving home. Not driving home. Uh, they took a coach trip and they went to uh, Ingenells, wherever the hell that is, near Skegness or somewhere, I think. So her and Raheem, they're on a bit of a day trip to a beach. The weather doesn't look amazing, but, you know, hey, they went. Oh, man, Crystal, do you know what? I don't think I want to put you all through that. Raheem's bad enough as well. And here's the issue I have, right? Here's the issue I have. Raheem is almost imitating how she eats. And I don't want him to grow up. One day he may work in an office environment or not. It's up to him. But let's just say he works in an office environment. They're having a meeting and everyone is being very delicate with their, you know, when they when you know when they have sandwiches, you know, everyone's very like, you know, even when that sandwich is crusty bread, like iceberg lettuce, hard carrots, you know, like um hardcore tomatoes, right? Even when they have all of that in there, you know, they got goujons in there, crunchy southern fried chicken. There's literally like. 
no sound. It's like, la. I don't want him to go. <laughs> so there we go, everyone. If you tuned in, smash like. I hope you go away from today's live chat session feeling like a little bit more informed about how you eat <laughs> and what you eat as well, all right? Watch those carbs, people, right? If you love your pasta and your rice, let me tell you now before, and then we'll stop talking about food. In fact, I'm going to go have a piss, okay? So before I go and have my piss, okay, I'll be back in a minute and a half. I've got to go, you know, empty my sack. Let me tell you this now. Um, what was I going to say? Damn, I forgot what I was going to say now. What was I going to say before I said talked about piss? Yes, rice and pasta. Rice and pasta and potatoes take 48 hours to, to digest. So if you have any rice or pasta now, and then you have it again later on, that's double load. And then you have it tomorrow, you just are adding digestive combustion into your stomach. Right, I'll be back in one minute and a half. Don't go anywhere. Have I ever told you what are the three nicest things that can happen? The three nicest things that you can ever experience. Number one, a cold can of Pepsi Max or a cold bottle where it is sheer cold and you have the pleasure of the gases exploding in your throat. Let me clarify if you heard that wrong, because some of you I know are probably going to say that was wrong. But it's this, the, the gush of the bubbles in your throat. And I'm talking about Pepsi Max. The second nicest thing that can happen to you that you will experience is when you are starving, you are on the brink of death, and then you have a piping hot pucker pie, steak and kidney. Mm, that is amazing. And the third nicest experience you can ever have is when you go to the toilet and you have a good load of wee come out. That's a great feeling. So there's your three things. Pepsi Max, steak and kidney pie by Pucker Pie. If you've not had a Pucker Pie, a proper Pucker Pie, you should go and have one. And the third thing is having a good wee. Good old wee breaks, right? <coughs> Eddie, thank God it's quiet. <laughs> um, Wheat cows in the air capital of the world. The what? Air capital of the world? Kansas? Oh, Kansas. Why Kansas? What's going on in Kansas? I might missed something. Imran, can you share the contact email? I need to show you some issue that I'm having with a site I'm working on. Yeah, the email's down here. The email's down there, Imran. Seriously, you can't miss it. Like, unless there's something in front of your screen that you need to move, like a book or magazines, or whatever else you got there, Imran. The email's right there. You can't miss it. No way, Mark Harris. You don't think... Go on. In fact, why don't all... Why don't you just list down right now what are the three greatest things that you can experience? And please do not you put down porn. Just put them down. What are your three things? All of you, do it. Go on. Mine are Pepsi Max, Pucker Pie, and having a wee break. <laughs> What are your three things? Go on, put him down. 
add dropping a deuce. Mm, well, mm. I mean, when you're desperate, yeah, but. Mm. <laughs> Drop down, put them down. Not put them down, because that sounds rude. But put down, what are your three things that really make you feel good? What three things could you experience or have? So it's got, it could be food, it could be drink, it could be something you're doing. Don't say, oh, I like it when I get paid, because everyone likes it when they get paid. Don't say, I like it when my mortgage is paid. Don't say that, all right? Put down... Oh, take care, Crystal. Great having you here. And I'm really sorry. Today was very like, we talked about diets. We talked about carbohydrates, food, um, eating habits, noises, popcorn, Lord of the Rings, and me having a wee break. Hey, David, how are you doing? Um, by the way, if anyone does need a website reviewed or a website they're working on and they just want to get some general feedback, please go and email me right now there and we'll pop it on screen and have a look. Uh, Gary, Boeing most notably, Bombardier Aircraft, Cessna. Oh, do you mean these are the things you love to experience? So you like it when you are on one of these aircrafts, right? Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean when you say that? Like, you like flying. Is it like as a, you don't fly these, obviously, or I don't know, maybe you do. My my phone watch has gone a bit funny. I don't know what's happened there. Um, yeah, so please do. I'd love to sh I'd love to know more about what you guys are into. How's your week gone so far? I mean, we are nearly on Friday towards, uh, well, we're now in June. I just realised it's 1st of June today. Um, boy, is it come round quick. You know, we're now just like seven months away from Christmas. You know, not long to go. So Pixar likes cooking and enjoying good food. Yep. A good cool drink and a good... He likes... Obviously not at the same time. Because you said all three things. That implies you like them at the same time. That would get very, very messy and not very hygienic as well. Older we get, faster time goes, Sinan says. I would like to agree with you on that, Sinan, but time just goes at the same time. So a second still takes a second. Just want to put that out there. Yes, yeah, Steffi, great to have you here. Um... Once I saw your problem, I could not let it go. I, I, I did a bit, then I went, oh, I don't know what to do here. There is a problem. It's a weird one. And, I, and then suddenly my brain clicked. And obviously, you are just going to have to change what you've done because you had two child containers for the left and right side. Now you've got to just have one and then put all the other contents outside. Just take your time on it, okay? Because you do have to fiddle a little bit with the margins and the padding but you'll find the values you need to have and you'll be okay. But I'm really glad. Um, have fun with it. To be honest, though, now that I've made clear what you need to do, all you've got to do, I, you know what I would say you do? Replicate the values I put in and then tinker with them to get what you need. Work on one side. When you've got that side ready, duplicate it to put it on the other side of your image and then change the content inside. Don't try and do both at the same time. Just do one, right? In fact, just get your image in and then do the left column and do the top half. Get the top half working. Then do the bottom half there. Then duplicate over, okay? And you will get there. I'm really glad. I'm glad, I'm glad we found a way, in a way, without resorting to JavaScript code. Because I was looking at JavaScript. How can I get it to work? And it was really, I, I had it, and then it, well, then there was an issue, and I tried another way, and I thought, yeah, I've got it, and then, nope, now there's a problem here, and it was like, how'd you do it, and cover all bases? Uh, Stephen, um, I'm really, I'm, I, well, yeah, I mean, um, 
I remember your website. I remember we were talking mainly about the images, weren't we? And about uh, your image as well, because you had your big image there. But I hope it's all uh, coming out okay. Pixar's had a good week. I'm sure you're looking forward to winding down now. Um, oh, yes, Gary. I mean... Whereabouts are you based, Gary, again? You're not in Lincoln, are you? I mean, Lincoln, obviously, Lincolnshire, the RAF and all there. Whereabouts are you based again, Gary? Mark's three things. Turning left instead of right on a plane. What? I said things that make you feel good. You said turning left instead of right on a plane. How the heck is that good? Cheese and wine. Yeah, I get that. Um, I don't, do you know what? I used to be a big wine drinker. I've li I've really, really, really gone off drinking a lot. I really have. Baileys, I'm fine with that, but I really have gone off drinking. A dog walking on a warm day when no one else is around. Hey, Mia, how are you doing? Hope you're okay. So, um, so Randy... Um, I don't know if you're still on the live chat, Randy, but Randy Trestrail has just sent me. Um, how can I get rid of this jumping effect on my menu items? Right, so let's have a look at this. So Randy, who was on the live chat a moment ago because I saw his name there, he says he's got a bit of an issue whereby... Well, it's a bit of a weird one. He says the issue is a jumping effect on my menu items. I'm... I don't know about you, but I'm not seeing that jump effect on the menu item. I'm not. Oh, hold on. There's something going on here when I hover over it. Oh, hold on. Oh, what the heck is this? Hey, Randy. What have you got going on here? Have you got a hot? You must have a hover effect. How's this been built? How is this website built? Is this hello? What is this even built with? It is elemental, but... Um, what have you got going on here, then? What have you got going on here? That's a bit of a weird... Has anyone... You must have a hover effect on. You must have something going on. Um, I mean, I can't see a hover effect over here. Doesn't seem to be any hover effect going on over here. Hover. Let's go to hover. Uh, don't look to me like you've got anything going on. Can you just zero out all the margins and paddings on your logo and just make sure you've got none on your nav menu as well? Um, don't really seem to have anything on there. And just double check the hover effects on your menu as well. Can you do that as well? Just double check. You know, um, I mean, obviously you've got a banner, a, a section here or a container. Give it a fixed height or maybe just check what kind of height have you got. It doesn't seem to be changing in size, but you've got something going on. And this... Looks weird. This looks weird, you know. This looks quite weird. What's going on there? I mean, back onto the hover. Put it on hover again. Let me just scan that again in case I missed anything. Padding. Let's take... Okay, right. So if I just remove your padding for a minute. I'm just going to undo loads of stuff. What you got going on here? Typography. I'm just scanning everyone. If anyone spots anything, do let me know. Text expiration. Uh, no, 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 no. Cursor pointer. What have we got going on here? Margin, margin, outline. Uh, vertical align. List style padding. Seems okay. I'm just scanning. If anyone spots, well, if you if you know what's going on here, What's this? I'm not seeing anything. This is what's weird. I'm not really seeing anything kind of thing, really, in a way. Um, If you had... Okay, look, here's what I'm going to say, Randy, right? 
If you had a brand new page and you drop your menu in, do you still get that problem? And has this been created with Elementor Pro? Is this Elementor? Is this with Elementor? Well, it's not, it's, it's a weird one. I'm not sure why you're getting this line height. For instance, is this a, are you using section or containers? What are you using here? And if you were to, ah, hold on. Hold on. Are you using an add-on here? Are you using unlimited add-ons? Are you using, a, are you using uh, an add-on? So can you just confirm what theme is this? Was that header made with Elementor Pro? Yeah, you have got unlimited add-ons. Not Pro, right, okay, so that's the first thing. Number two, uh, if you do a blank page and drop the menu in, do you still get that issue? Uh, yeah, sorry, um, I'm gonna pop a link down here. Uh, there we go, sorry, Pickstar, I didn't see your message. So, um, if you got a blank page and you drop that in, do you still get that problem? Theme is hello, okay, that's fine. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna right click it again. I'm sure there's something there. I'm just trying to find what it is. I'm struggling with this because I can't, I'm not spotting anything that makes, there's no, doesn't seem to be anything applied. Oh, I don't think there is anything applied. Um... Ah, hold on. No, it's not the it's not the line height. One REM. No, it's not that. It's not that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, maybe Pickstar might spot. I mean, yeah. Oh, is it like is it the line height, Pickstar? I thought it was. I thought it was going to say it's not one point two. You've said it is, because there is line height there. Delete your line height then. Delete your line height, Randy, and try that. Delete that. I mean, look, it's not for me to judge or anything like that, but I'm going to say that... Oh, man, I just shut down my page. <clears throat> I had stuff on then. I've just got to shut it down. Um, I would strongly recommend that you do get Elemental Pro. Um, I would strongly recommend because there comes a point when there comes a point when if you keep using Elemental Free and you use loads of add-ons, you are going to get hit. Okay, you are going to get you're going to start to have problems kicking up all over the place. And I know this is not nothing to do with the um, uh, the menu, as uh, Pixar just said, it's the line height issue. However, you do have to have a think, a hard think about why, is it, why are you not investing in Elemental Pro? Um, because you can get away with, you, you can get away with, using third-party add-ons and plugins, but every now and again, you're going to get a bit of an issue, all right? Every now and again, you're going to get a bit of an issue, um, but I would definitely go ahead uh, and recommend it. But, yeah, that's just my view on it. Um, that's just my view on it. Um, we have been live. I just want to check how long we've been live now. We've been live for... I can't even tell how long we've been live. 58 minutes, believe it or not. Please don't forget to hit like if you've not already hit like. Hitting like is pretty important. It makes me feel good and it helps the YouTube algorithm as well. I'm just waiting for my wife to kind of text me and let me know what time are they planning to get home? Because I have to go and pick them up. And if I know they're coming home at six, I won't eat before, I'll eat afterwards. Or if they're coming quite late, I'll eat later on. But they haven't messaged me yet. Um, one hour, says Michael. One hour? Probably one hour. You're probably about... How do you know, Michael, it's one hour? But yeah. Um, hmm. And you know and you know the header? Is the header built in unlimited add-ons? Is that built... 
I'm trying to work out then how's the header the header done. Emran, uh, when did you right? Emran sent his email as well, and Emran is saying. So he has an issue where the product thumbnails are not showing in the shop. Um, okay, so your images are not showing. Now, if I just show you Emran's page, so Emran has sent his website over and he is saying his image is not showing. Now, watch the page. Do you see that? The images are there, right? But then they disappear. So what are you using here? What plugins are you using, Emran? What are you using? Um, open image in new tab. So the images definitely are not appearing. Are the images loaded with a HTTP address number one. All the images, because right now I'm getting I'm getting this address at the top. Look, I'm getting this issue at the top. How are the images added? How are the images added? Look at your images. Look, when I go into link, click it. Because if I go and open this image, right? Can you see the address at the top there? So this image that you've loaded here, this whatever it is, has that. When I try to open your images, I'm getting data image gif base da 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 da. So how have, where are the images? Are they in your media library? Are they in the media library? Thank you, John. <laughs> I'm wait, I'm waiting for them to confirm what time are they leaving. They must have left by now, I think. Um. So if we now just have a look, okay, at your images over here. Whoops, a daisy. Um, see, look, look here. How are your images added? Have you added your images from a HTTP link, and now you've made it a secure SSL? Are they feeding in from a Google Drive somewhere? So I'm going to say to you, you need to go back and revisit your images. Yeah, I use Smush. I'm really sorry, everyone. How many times have I said do not use plugins unless you really, 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 really have to? Because they cock things up. They either don't compress properly, they either muck up your images, or they create issues like that. They create issues like that. Um... I have no advice on how to fix that other than reload the images in. I know it's not the best advice, but um, so um, uh, Pixstar has just sent me a link, and what he said is go and check the line height. Basically, yeah, just go and check your line height because apparently on your image. You've also got line height applied on your image as well, which is why you get a bit of the bounce there as well. So go and have a look on that as well. But basically, um, you might need to redo your image. Oh, cheers, Michael. Yeah, sorry, the one hour, I get it, yeah. But there are thousands of images. Hey, Emran, um, is this a website you've inherited so it was previously built? Is this been built brand new, right? Um, Pixar has just sent a link over. Go and have a look at that, Imran. This might help you out. I don't know. I've never used this before, so I'm not going to comment on it. Pixar, you might want to add something in there. Um, but go and have a look at that link. But is this a website that you've inherited? One that you were building for a client? What is your, give us the story. How did you come across this website? Did you discover it in a pile of mud or did you create it? How did you come across this website? Or is this a client? What's going on here? Hey, what is coming on here? How'd you come across it? I 
I've got a. I mean, I. I did German when I was in uh, secondary school. I think Eddie is asking Pixstar, are you, if I've got this right, self-employed or are you in a web design agency? Am I right? Are you asking him if he is employed or does he work in a web design agency? And Pixstar says, no, I only do this as a hobby. Um and he uh, he's not a web designer. And then he says, so I'm just quickly checking. Uh, someone just sent me an, an email, uh, a message. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know what he says. Brotten zu Verden. I don't know what that means. But I think Pixstar is saying, no, I do this as a hobby. I'm not a web designer, but I'm a hobby. But I do I do, do some web designing. I think that's what he's saying. I'm trying to work it out. I'm just checking that Eddie and Pixstar aren't starting some crime syndicate or something like that. You know, like they're not like laundering um, HTML codes. You know, they're not paying taxes. Eddie did mention the tax man, right? You know, they're laundering CSS codes across the internet. Hey, I got a bit of hover code, yeah? Well, you give me your hover code, I'll give you my widget. So when I hover, you can touch the widget or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I am going to go. We're going to go with a two minute warning, everyone. Um, it's been a very heavy going day today. It's been a very heavy going day. It's been. Um, it's been. Uh, dropped my wife and son off for them to go get their coach at half eight. As soon as I dropped them off and I got home, I was straight into it straight into recording, straight into problem solving. Then I started looking at Steffi's thing with the overlapping of the uh, sticky columns and all of that. Back and forth with that, trying to solve it, finished that. Then I had a one-to-one -one consultation with someone. Uh, Lee, whose website we reviewed, I think we reviewed it last week. We well, might've been earlier this week. We reviewed it not long ago, had a consultation with him, advising him, going deeper into it. Straight after that, I quickly recorded the video for Steffi, edited it really, really quick, got it uploaded straight into the live chat. So it's been nearly nonstop since nine o'clock and I now am feeling a little bit tired. So I'm going to go and um, stretch my legs for a little bit, maybe run around the house. Ah, pick stars. That what you so that bit was for so mine Broughton zu Verdinon is to earn my bread or bread rolls. Earn your bread, right? Earn your keep. Earn your money. Eddie, it's hot. 26, 26 degrees. Wow, it is 13 degrees outside. It is rubbish. Hey, Fabric Texture. I'm about to jump off in one minute, but how are you? Please do smash the live chat. Um if you haven't already smashed the live button, the link, you go click it, okay? Um, you will have noticed that I've got more and more videos coming out. I'm really sorry. I try to record videos. I schedule them in. But then sometimes something happens. Someone wants a bit of help with something. Then there was Steffi's query. Then we had the rank math. Then we had the beta 3.14. And I just feel like I've got to get it out there to give you my take and my opinion so you know what I'm thinking. Okay, everyone, I'm going to say goodbye. God bless. See you all tomorrow. Hopefully see you tomorrow. But if you're busy, you're busy. Get on with your lives. Go and eat your kebab. Go and stuff your face with popcorn. Go and sort out your line height. Go and earn your bread. Go and do what you want to do, okay? But please do smash the like button. Yeah, I know I said it. I heard myself when I said it, Pickstar's like, what did I say that for? Okay, I'm now going to uh, just, I can't even switch this off. There we go. I'm now going to say goodbye. Take care. See you soon.